Ahoy mateys, and thanks for tuning in to Pirates and Teepees. Joshua Besnay here, and due to the rising popularity of my flower pot water filter video, I am finally doing the follow-up. So for this follow-up video, um, I've ordered a few things off Amazon so that we can test the water uh, that goes through this filter. So I'm going to use some really grody rainwater that's been sitting for a while that's definitely would make you sick if you drank it and um, so I think that would be really good for this test and then we're gonna run it through this uh, the water filter and when it's done we're going to use this test kit that I got off Amazon um, it's called uh, metric health drinking water test kit so this should be pretty cool to see what the water looks like after it comes out all right so let's get into it what we're gonna do is we're gonna siphon the water out of the rain barrel and directly into the flower pot and from there uh, I will do the initial tests we'll let it run for 24 48 hours figure out exactly how long it takes to get um, about a gallon of water so that we can add that to our test as well and then we'll run all these uh, handy dandy tests on there so make sure you stay tuned if you haven't watched the original video check uh, this link out up here that'll kind of show you what's going on and what went into making this water filter so first thing uh, people have been saying that it's very slow well it's not the fastest process in the world uh using the clay pot from the hardware store it is a denser clay than clay pot that was designed specifically for filtering water a clay pot designed for filtering water will have sawdust in there and then when you fire the pot it burns that sawdust out which makes it a little more porous and the water filters faster so there's really no way to change that however uh, if you do sand the inside and the outside of the pot as described in the previous video it will speed up the process greatly also I have found that the more you use the filter the faster it works so just keep with it keep the pot at all times the weight of the water uh, pushing down actually increases filtration speed so if you keep that water pot full it will definitely help increase the speed of your water filtration at this point I'm getting over half a gallon a day so what I've done is I kind of let it run for a few days and then I've been filling up water bottles and keeping water bottles full of the filtered water and that allows me to you know keep ahead of the uh, consumption of the water also I have found that uh, there's kind of a vapor lock the weight of the pot against the bucket creates a seal around the edge and air pressure will actually build up inside of the bucket which slows down the filtration process that was easily remedied by using a small piece of wood either from say a matchstick or a toothpick and just lifting up the edge of the pot a little bit so that air can escape and that will allow the filtration to happen much much quicker also those that it asked what I used to plug the hole in the bottom was just a rubber stopper that I got from the hardware store I've also improved the lid on it so instead of using that thin piece of glass from the table that was on the top I used the um, out of an old microwave there was the like a Pyrex glass tray in in the bottom and when the microwave took a shit I took that tray out and I've been using that as the cover for the uh, for the pot which is way stronger and in my opinion looks much nicer um, I think that addresses about all the questions as far as the filtration process goes so why don't we go ahead and run some tests on this water and see what uh, the science has to say first test we're going to perform is coliform bacteria being that I used stagnant water from my rainwater collection I'm assuming it was very unhealthy to drink before we're gonna fill the jar up shake it let it sit in a cool dark place for 48 hours and if it's still purple after 48 hours we have coliform free water and look at that still purple this test is pass next test on our list is lead I 
feel this is super important. A lot of people were concerned that it might be lead in the clay pot. This involves using the pipette to fill the test tube up with water and then inserting the test strip and waiting 10 minutes, then comparing it to the chart. And it looks like we have lead free water. Awesome. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. That's how we support this channel. It means a lot to me. Thank you. Test number three is nitrate and nitrite. This involves dipping the strip in the water, letting it sit for two minutes, and then comparing it with the chart. While it passed on the output water, it's important to note that the test of nitrate and nitrite that I ran on the initial water did not pass. This shows that the filter definitely is removing some toxins from the water, which is awesome. Pass. Fourth test I ran is for copper. The process was about the same as all the other ones, swirl and compare to chart. This also passed, no copper in the water, awesome. All right, well, thank you so much for making it this long. I'm so glad that you enjoyed these videos and I hope they helped you because uh, it's been great having this water filter. This is what I drink water out of on a daily basis and it has been working fantastically for me. So make sure you smash that subscribe button, hit that like button, and maybe even uh, share with your friends. It really helps this channel grow and the more response this video gets, the more YouTube is likely to share my other videos. And uh, you know, maybe one day me and my uh, nephew can make this into our job and that just requires your guys' support and your continued support and it's much appreciated. So if you have any questions, please feel free to comment. I love comments. I promise to respond to all of them. And like I said, smash that like button. All right, thank you so much and have an absolutely piratical day.